वंस अपॉन अ टाइम अ गर्ल नेम सेंड्रेला लिव विद हर स्टेप मदर एंड टू स्टेप सिस्टर्स पुअर सेंड्रेला हैड टू वर्क हार्ड ऑल डे लॉन्ग सो द अदर्स कुड रेस्ट इट वॉज शी हु हैड टू वेक अप ईच मॉर्निंग वेन इट वॉज स्टिल डार्क एंड कोल्ड टू स्टार्ट द फायर इट वॉज शी हु कुक द मील्स इट वॉज शी हु कैप द फायर गोइंग द पुअर गर्ल कुड नॉट स्टे क्लीन फ्रॉम ऑल द एशेज एंड सिंडर्स बाय द फायर वट अ मेस हर टू स्टेप सिस्टर्स लाफ एंड दैट इज वाई दे कॉल्ड हर सिंड्रेला वन डे बिग न्यूज केम टू टाउन द किंग एंड द क्वीन वन क्वीन टू हैव अ बॉल इट वॉज टाइम फॉर द प्रिंस टू फाइंड अ ब्राइट ऑल ऑफ द यंग लेडीज इन द लैंड वर इन्वाइटेड टू कम दे वर वाइल विद जॉय दे वुड वेयर देयर मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल गाउन एंड फिक्स देयर हेयर एक्स्ट्रा नाइस मे बी द प्रिंस वुड लाइक दैम एट सेंड्रेला हाउस शी नाउ हैड एक्स्ट्रा वर्क टू डू She had to make two brand new gowns for her stepsister. Faster! Shouted one stepsister. "You call that a dress?" screamed the other. "Oh dear!" said Cinderella. "When can I?" The stepmother marched into the room. "When can you what?" "Well," said the girl. "When will I have time to make my own dress for the ball?" "You!" yelled the stepmother. "Who said you were going to the ball?" What a laugh said one step sister such a mess they pointed at cinderella all of them laughed cinderella said to herself when they look at me maybe they see a mess but i am not that way and if i could i would go to the ball soon the time came for the step mother and step sisters to leave for the big party their fine carriage came to the door the stepmother and stepsister hopped inside and they were off goodbye called cinderella have a good time but her stepmother and stepsister did not turn around to see her ah me said cinderella sadly the carriage rolled down the street she said aloud i wish i could go to the ball too hmm all of sudden in front of her was a fairy you called said the fairy Did I said Cinderella who are you why your fairy godmother of course i know your wish and i have come to grant it but said cinderella my wish is impossible excuse me said the fairy godmother in a huff did i not just show up out of thin air yes you did said cinderella then let me be the one to say what is possible or not Well I think you know I want to go to the ball too she looked down at her dirty clothes but look at me you too look a bit of a mess child said the fairy godmother even if i had something nice to wear said the girl i would have no way to get there dear me all of that is possible said the fairy with that she tapped her wand on cinderella's head At once Cinderella was all clean. She was dressed in a beautiful blue gown. Her hair was set up high on her head inside a golden band. This is wonderful, said Cinderella. Who said I was done? said the fairy godmother. She tapped her wand again. At once a beautiful carriage come to be with a driver and four white horses. Am I dreaming? said Cinderella looking around her. It is as real as real can be said the fairy godmother but there is one thing you must know what is that all of this lasts only to midnight tonight at the stroke of midnight it will be all over everything will go back to how it was before then i must be sure to leave the ball before midnight said cinderella good idea said the fairy godmother She stepped back my work is done and with that the fairy godmother was gone Cinderella looked around her did that even happen but there she stood in a fine gown and with a golden band in her hair and there were her driver and four horses before her waiting coming called the driver she stepped into the carriage and they were off 
over at the ball the prince did not know what to think why do you have that sad look on your face the queen said to her son look around you you could not ask for finer maiden than these i know mother said the prince yet he knew something was wrong he had met many of the young women yet after he said hello one by one he could find nothing more to say look some one point to the front door who is that all had turns who was that lovely maiden stepping down the stairs she held her head tall and looked as he belongs but no one know her there is something about her said the prince to himself i will ask her to dance and he walked over to cinderella have we met said the prince i am pleased to meet you now said cinderella with the bow i feel as if i know you said the prince but of course that is impossible many things are possible said cinderella if you wish them to be true the prince felt a leap in his heart he and cinderella danced when the song was over they danced again and then they danced again and yet again soon the other maidens all at the ball grew jealous why is he dancing all the time with her they said how rude but all the prince could see was cinderella they laugh and talk and they dance some more in fact they danced for so long that cinderella did not see the clock dong said the clock cinderella looked up dong went the clock again she looked up again oh my she carried out it is almost midnight dong rang the clock why does that matter said the prince dong called the clock i must go said cinderella dong went the clock but we just met said the prince why leave now dong rang the clock i must go said cinderella she ran to the steps dong said the clock i cannot hear you said the prince the clock is too loud dong rang the clock wait called the prince he picked her glass slipper and rushed out the door he looked around but could not see her blue dress anywhere this is all i have left from her he said looking down at the glass slipper he saw that it was made in a special way to fit a foot like none other somewhere there is the other glass slipper he said and when i find it i will find her too then i will ask her to be my bride from her to her from house to house when the prince one young woman after another tried to fit her foot inside the glass slipper but none could fit and so the prince moved on at last the prince came to cinderella's house he is coming call one step sister as she look out the window at the door screamed the other step sister quick yelled the step mother get ready one of you must be the one to fit your foot in that slipper no matter what the prince knocked the step mother flew open the door come in she said i have two lovely daughters for you to see the first step sister tried to place her foot in the glass slipper she tried hard but it just would not fit then the second step sister tried to fit her foot inside she tried and tried with all her might too but no dice are there no other young women in the house said the prince none said the step mother then i must go said the prince maybe there is one more said cinderella stepping into the room i thought you said there were no other young women here said the prince none who matters said the stepmother in a hiss come here said the prince cinderella step up to him the prince got down on one knee and tried the glass slipper on her foot it fit perfectly then from her pocket cinderella took out something it was the other glass slipper i knew it he cried you are the one what shouted a step sister not her screamed the other step sister this cannot be yelled the step mother but it was too late the prince knew that cinderella was the one he looked into her eyes
he did not see the cinders in her hair or the ashes on her face i found you he said and i found you said the cinderella and so cinderella and the prince were married and they were lived happily ever after